Priyanka so can I I think you don't have this provision so today I will uh, I will upload so these two documents okay so from Monday onwards I will do uh, so daily basis because here I don't uh, have that much net supporting so, so this is the plan today so I just uh, I think we had created yesterday we created the enterprise structure right so, so I, we created the uh, long back we created legacy so the ledger and everything so anyhow so I am going to so uh, I am going to quickly so step by step procedure so with all these things okay so we uh, want to create on legacy and then we'll create a ledger and then so because I don't want to so I am not going uh, not going to ch again the chart of account so because it will take time. So already we discussed the chart of account everything because I will take the treated data, the chart of account value set and everything. So then we'll create that one and we'll go for the business R. Then we can, so we'll, the in the business unit, so we'll assign all the uh, functions. So we'll assign the functions, so business functions so related to uh, procurement, uh, procurement product management, all these things. So then we'll go for the, so the shift and everything. So this is the plan today. So let us see how it is. So let me go to the application. So this application is working right for you. I think it is. I, so I have already shared this application. So it is working. So it is working for all. So it is a kind of a. So if you see that, so uh, so some some servers. Uh, this is provision for uh, only some kind of offering. So now it is not like that. So it is working for all. So it, it works for uh, SCM, SCM, financials, so all the offering, so all the things. So you can see that. So if you go for the provision, so now you can see all the things. Okay. For some servers, they are not providing. So that's why we had issue earlier. While creation of the calendar, while creation of the legal entity, we had issue. So, so it was not supported. And this server is supporting for all, for all the, um, for all the offerings okay so here let me go for the procurement offering okay. let me go for the procurement offering so whenever you have any doubts please stop me and we can discuss quickly okay so so now manage legal address. So we'll check it whether we can create here or not. Yeah. See. So I think that they have disabled this one. So let me go for the financial. Because in, uh, but, but in the real time, so the procurement person no need to create all these things. Okay, legal intelligent. So this is related to the financials only. Here uh, as a part of the multi setups. So we are just discussing, but in the real time, so we can uh, we can directly go through from the business unit itself. So uh, so this one enterprise structure. So this one is so this is responsible for HCM. HCM people need to do that. So the, this one is financial people. Okay, and from the business unit, so we can go ahead. So as a for the as, as a procurement consultant. But if the if the implementation is only for the procurement or HCM, so then definitely we need to do that. Okay, so mine is a legal address. Set sheet. Okay. So 
I can check whether it is there in the HCM. So this is workforce deployment is related to HCM. on implementation for this so you can go for any kind of uh, don't have the permission okay fine. so now what I can do is so to do to do this activity okay so to do especially for this activity so let me so let me log in okay so let me log in so what I can do is I will do all these activities in the financial user okay so up to this level so let me check it so because anyhow we planned for the, today in this one so for these things so let me log out because it is restricted to the so calvin roth uh, so so roth is related to the procurement uh, user right so that means uh, go to the financial user because it is restricted the user is restricted um cashy brown financial so let me go for the cashy brown so in ebs so we have only one only operation welcome so now here they separated so even in R12, so because uh, I think uh, so next week, uh, so I'm going to get the R12, the latest uh, version, so which uh, actually is released one month back uh, for the past purpose, okay, for the customization. So that is uh, very good. So I check that one. So, uh, so that is, uh, you can, uh, so you can log in. So we have the two things, okay. So here, so here, so it will mention IDM, so so, I, so if you click on IDM, so then you can you can directly you can go for the IDM. So if you if you select the APM, then you can go for the APM. And uh, BA, you can go for the BA directly because if here what happens is for everything you need to log in and then you need to uh, go for the concern. Uh, you can you need to query and go for the concern, but uh, it's not it's not like that. Um, so everything is um, so the separate uh, phase will be there. So you need to select that one, then it will it will give you that. So uh, that is there and pass, pass also a separate thing. So they have mentioned SAS pass uh, integration. So if you select that SAS pass integration, uh, then you need to provide the username and password and you can go for that uh, integration. You can do customization to everything. So it's looking good. So I will show you next week because I'm planning to get that some more. Activity. Okay. Sign in. Okay. So here let me go to the set up on maintenance. So let me go for the financials. Financials. So what is managed regulators? I hope that it will be active here. Yeah, I think it is active here. Okay. So manage regular press. Click on here. Yeah, they're restricted to user. Okay. So now so let me create one legal address. 
Yeah, I think we discussed earlier also. So I I'm just want to go through all the setups at a time. So we'll complete today. Okay, and so here uh, I'm going for some so 500 main street like that. Okay, so city I'm taking New York. Okay, and pin code the uh, usual I'm taking the uh, one zero zero one. Okay, this one. Just click on okay. Fine. So then save and close. So this we do it. So next, let me go for the leg entry. Okay. Select the uh, legality. See so here you can see. So so uh, you can select the offering and you can check the task. So you can so you can see that. So it is active in active status. We can also do in the same way. So go to, so whatever related to financial uh, setup. So we can go. We can complete in the financials and then we can come back and we will do other stuff for the SDSM procurement. So here I am taking AMD LV. So actually we discussed about the AMD only from, from beginning. AMD LV one two three four and uh, legal address. So let me take the legal address. So I think I had given just now, right? So it is kind of a I given five hundred, right? Five hundred main statement. Yeah, I think this one, I think 500 more script. Okay. So place of registration is not a required and you can select the PSC. So if you are using this legal ending for um, uh, payroll strategy, you know, we call it as a PSU, payroll related. So then you can use this one. Okay. So here are the TIN and everything. So I'm just giving some uh, numbering. Okay, AMD. So 8901. So what does it mean? So just uh, I'm giving for creating purpose but in the real time you can get it from the um, so you can get it uh, from the client itself okay fine so next one is so let me go for the ledger okay be, before going to ledger so okay so i just want to query so the manage ledger, right? So it's a kind of manage primary ledger. It's a manage uh, primary ledger. Okay. So that is a task. Manage primary ledger. So primary ledger. Okay. So let me copy this one. So this one, this will be helpful for you to query. Okay. So manage primary ledger. Just click on here. Okay, so let me check the seeded data. So we have the seeded data, which is a US primary ledger. So let me check it. And uh, based on that, I can take the, I can, I can take a chart of account from that. Okay, US primary, we have the US primary. Because we already discussed our chart of accounts, uh, stuff and everything, because uh, it's kind of a duplication, it will take much more time. So let me go for the US primary lecture. Usually what we used to do is, you can give the name itself and then just uh, enter. So it will give you that, but so okay, fine. So this is, you can see that, okay, US primary lecture is kind of a vision ledger. Vision ledger means, so while, um, so while developing the product, so what I can test it with this one. Okay. Okay, let me so here in the US primary ledger, so I just want to check with 
So what are the chart of account is one? So US chart, US chart of accounts, and then uh, accounting MMYY. So so I want to check this one. Okay. So uh, US chart of accounts. Yes. US chart of accounts. So then accounting. So chart of accounts. Accounting MMYY. So accounting I can create not a problem. I think we already discussed, but I can create now as well. It's not a problem. So accounting MMYY. So accounting will not take much more time. Okay, so accounting periods. Accounting periods. Then sketch, sketch here. You will get the accounting period. Okay. And the accounting period. So I think this is the managed accounting period. It's not like this. So managed. Manage accounting periods. Okay. Manage accounting periods. So, okay. So this is respect to project finance. But we already discussed earlier. So. Yeah, manage accounting calendar. So that is a uh, yeah, task here. Manage accounting calendar. Yeah, manage accounting calendars. That is a task. Okay. So let me copy it here. Because if you know the task, then it will be easy. So because anyhow, I am preparing the list of the task as well. So we'll share it. So I am preparing all the tasks. Okay. So these are all the different tasks. So I'm just preparing. Okay. So we'll share it at the end of the session. Okay. So now I want to add up here. So let me create calendar. The simple only, so it's not uh, that much complicated related to uh, EBS. So uh, AMD calendar. So I'm just going for this one and start date. I can give the uh, January. Okay, first Jan 17. Okay. Okay, otherwise, it's okay. The format is different. So, in this case, that I can go ahead. Okay. So, this one is first slide. Yeah, 1177. One, one, seven, seven. Um, you can select. So, based on the client requirement, you can select the. Um, um, so, you can select the format. And uh, so here usually we used to go for the so one set a year and the addition period and everything. So then click on next. And we had all so it is pretty different, but in the EBS it will take some time so to create all these things. So it is a kind of adjustment period. So then uh, save and close. We created this one. So this is the way to create. So now let me create the okay. ledger. 
directories manage ledgers we go to the task ledger task search okay manage primary ledger so click on here and we can go we can AMD ledger, AMD ledger. So here chart of account we already discussed. I am taking the CDA data. So here chart of account. So what I can do is yes, chart of accounts calendar. We have the AMD calendar. We just use the currency and the accounting method standard accrual, standard accrual. So then save and edit the. That's fine. So we created the ledger. So here what we can do is we created the legal entity, right? So we can assign the legal entity. So we can assign the legal entity. So there is a kind of a mapping. So here, so we created a legal entity. I'm just created legal entity for the as part of a multi year. I had created a ledger. Okay. So we are giving the mapping. So between legal entity and ledger. So that is assigned legal entity. Okay. So here, so we can't uh, get here. So let me, so uh, let me go to the setup because it's a kind of scope will be there, efficient for the setup. So just go to this uh, setup here, and you can query this. Query this. Uh, here that one okay if we go for this one so assign you can you can assign the legal entity so if you want to uh, so you can you can already it is there then you can select and add apply and you can you can select your ledger amd so amd ledger right so you can just use the amd ledger Yeah, so then we need to save and close. <coughs> Once you save and close, so then it is mapped. So that is mapped to so our uh, legal entity. <coughs> Ledger is mapped to the legal entity. So that is the way. So next one is let me go for the location. So from here, so what I can do is we can do the st all the stuff uh, in. Uh, procurement okay so let me so it let me log out and let me uh, check let me log out and log in with uh, uh, procurement user because I think uh, because it is respect to financial right so maybe if, uh, if I create some set of related to the procurement so then we'll get it will be added out so, so these are the these are all the um, uh, common users okay this is the HR uh, manager is and Calvin Doc is procurement so these are all and I don't know about CRM and maybe the project CRM and uh, manufacturing they have some other users I don't know that so we'll check later Calvin dot and this is the password. You can copy like this. So uh, I I uh, I hope that you are uh, using the application. So if you so anyhow so if you have the time and at least a daily uh, at least half an hour, please go to this application. Set up for maintenance. Manage location. So now I want to go for the procurement. Procurement. So because I, I am creating the location for the business unit purpose. So like we create um, location while creation of the 
operating unit and inventory are so in the same way I am creating here. Procurement. Okay, so just uh, go for the manage location. Right? It will be active. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it is active. Manage location. So let me create the location and then we will create the business unit. Just to click on create. Click on create button. Okay. So now let me create AMD underscore location. Okay. So because there are so many locations, so if I give the prefix like this, then I can query easily. So address line one, we'll check 300 main street because so to create simple in a simple manner. Okay, I'm just giving. Otherwise, we can create other address as well, so not a problem. One especially for the US, uh, only, but for other countries, so you can define any one, it will allow you. So here I am taking 1001. Okay. So now, oh, let me, okay, count and everything is fine. So, so these are all the optional fields only and also these are all related to DFF. So these are all related to country specific and uh, so uh, Canada, US like that. So we can also, we have the DFF we will discuss later. So descriptive text fields, so where we can capture the additional data of the application. So using that one, so if you go to uh, for the location, we have one DFF. So using the location DFF, we can add up all the fields. Okay. So for example, so here, so um, uh, customization means so you can, if you want to create um, the entire form, so then we can go for the customization, so uh, that one. But uh, here what we can do is, if you want to add up any kind of a fields, okay, so any kind of a field, so okay, somebody has added any look, ANL location DFF like that. So if you, if you add the fields, so using the DFFs, we have the lookups and DFFs, so using that you can add up. Oracle has so in EBS also we had the same same process lookups lookups and DFFs descriptive flex fields using these two functionality so we can add the uh, we can add the fields okay so now let me save and submit to save and submit click on submit. Okay, do you want to continue? Yes. Fine. So I had created uh, location. Uh, next, let me go for, let go to create the business unit. This one. This one I want to go to create. Okay. <coughs> and we will we'll create the inventory later. Okay. Business unit. Click on OK. Let me check whether the recording is set. Yeah, got it. Fine. So let me go to the setup and maintenance. I think we are we are in equipment only. Okay, so let me set manage business unit. Manage means it kind of a create. So create, okay, manage business unit. Click on manage business unit. Okay, I just want to create our business unit. Okay, 
So I want to create AMD underscore so business unit. Okay, manager it's not required and location also is not required, but anyhow we just created right. So let me let me add it. Also otherwise so you can set here. So AMD. We have the AMD set. So we just created the AMD location. We can assign here. And default is a common set common. We have the common set. You can use the common set. So usually we will get using this one only. Yeah, this is. We have the common set, so let us select it. So then save and close. Okay. AMD business unit. Now save and close. Fine. So then click on done. So now it is done. So next one is we need to assign business fun function for the business unit. Okay, so so earlier what happens is we used to create operating unit. So once we create the operating unit and uh, inventory like everything, so then we will run the replicate C data. After that, we will create the responsibility. So if you recollect that, so we create the responsibility. Okay, we call the responsibility our module responsibility and then so uh, we'll go for the admin okay and we will update the profile options okay so while uh, profile options while updating profile options we used to update the different profile options one is a gl ledger name we update the gl ledger and mo operating unit we are uh, we uh, update the operating unit hr business group so those are the profile options here we don't have any profile option and we hope we don't have any kind of um, responsibility. So based on the business unit functionality, so some data roles will be generated. Based on the data roles, we will we will do all the kind of transactions. Okay. So this is assign business unit to business function. Business unit to business function, and this is the function. So let us assign. Um, all the functionalities you must enter the business unit okay so in that case so let me so we have this one right business unit business function yeah so if you have any kind of issue like this then what you can do is so we have the other way just click on uh, setup and here also you can check it here you can check it. This one setup. So we have the yeah, this one business unit business function, right? So you can select here because you need to select the scope. So because you need to assign business unit, so there then only we'll get the functionality like this. Okay. So now what you can do is you need to select an add because already we created the business unit. So here we can go for the select and add business unit. I'm just checking. AMD, ours is AMD, right? So let me select the AMD. Okay. So let me select here again. So then select and add. Click, click on apply and go to task. Just select. And then we have the save and close here. We have the save and but close. Just click on save and close. Then it will go to the it will go to the concern the uh, concern functionality. So these are all the functionalities. Okay. So I am so I, I had defined I had defined my business unit. So here you can give the 
uh, okay if you are using this business unit for uh, receiving or sales or any kind of um, okay so any kind of a payables or procurement incentive expenses okay you can use this one you can use so now i want to use so billing and revenue i don't want collections customer okay so i can use so let me use most of the things okay so maybe i need to have the integration between uh, customer payments so incentives i don't need i think material management paper receiving payable procurement procurement contracting i don't need project accounting i think receiving i can take equation so sales and this one i don't need okay so i have taken most of the things and here i am taking yes played primary ledger so yes primary ledger because it's a kind of a seeded data so i am i am taking this one yes primary so otherwise what you can do is you can sketch it so if you are not able to get it click on here sketch so i am taking seeded data what happens is uh, so after some time maybe it will be deleted data so i'm just taking the data yes primary ledger yes primary ledger okay this one i am taking the seeded one so vision vision operations data seeded data So once it is done, then uh, we can go for the data role, uh, data role generation, and uh, and as user we can do that one. Yeah. So then save and close. Save and close. So this is the way to complete this task. Okay. So next one is verify data role generation for business unit. okay so now so some roles will be generated so some roles for data roles will be generated so let us check it so now we are going to the apm so no associated this one okay so let me refresh it yeah let me refresh otherwise let me go to the setup and maintenance <coughs> and so we can select here as well verify data role generation for business unit correct so verify data role generation for business unit so it will go through the uh, another middleware uh, application called apm authorization policy manager authorization policy manager okay so here what i can do is you can set for the uh, procurement templates okay we have the templates different templates role template you can set for the procurement templates or warehouse okay purchasing template this one or uh, we can go for the warehouse Let's try to get it right. Okay. So purchasing. So it is for the purchasing related. 
so enterprise related uh, so self service procurement template so just click on that and click on open so in the same way we have the warehouse as well so okay actually by default it will be generated for all kind of things so if it is not there then you can just click on the generate roles okay so once you save that button so by default it will be generated click on ok okay so if you want you can check so just go to the summary and here you can check it you can check so the valid is invalid roles like that you can check it if there is any kind of invalid roles so these are all the invalid roles so you need to check it so maybe it is related to some other uh, so some other kind of thing we don't have amd related because it's a different one okay. so now let me go to the user okay so i want to create a user our own user so so then uh, so we will assign the roles and everything to user and then we can go to the stuff because i am here i am so we can we, we we can create implementation user or we can create our own user so okay so i am uh, using the user so uh, procurement user i am creating the procurement user <coughs> sorry i am just creating the procurement user manage users just go to the manage users so i am just want to create a procurement user just click on plus button here you can you can do that so here i am going for the amd user so here amd dot user at red gmail dot com so you can give anything it's not a problem so and uh, username so username is amd dot user okay person type okay what kind of a person you can select the person type here. So, not mandatory, but the white person type is not a market. So let me go for the employee. So let me cancel and uh, let me check again because here the person type is mandatory. We must should be that. <coughs> okay. We'll try this one otherwise we'll, we'll create an implementation user so this one we'll do later okay, fine. so it is not i'm not getting it so let me go for the create uh, implementation user so there also you can create implementation user so create implementation user create implementation users so now it will go through the idea okay we have three applications one is idm so which we use to create uh, users and other one is the fsm so function setup manager the main one and the third one is the apm uh, authorization policy manager where data roles will be generated so these three are mandatory okay without these three we can't we can't implement the product because here data roles will be generated so like the responsibilities all the things so without the data role we can't do anything so without the user we can't do anything without the setup we can't do anything so that's why these three are mandatory but in the real time what happens is the function consultant may may be or may not have the access to the oam and the apm because 
so if it is controlled so controlled by any kind of a dba or any kind of technical person then we need to send mail to that person so to create uh, uh, users or to assign the roles all these things okay. but uh, in the sas model so everything is uh, functional right so maybe we will get it but in the sas model maybe it is a different kind of thing okay so now let me just click on administration and click on create user okay so here the first name so i am taking amd the last name user so login i am taking amd dot user okay so so here what you can do is i am taking the passwords okay the password uh, i am taking can go for the cloud i think yesterday did we created any kind of user i did one yeah we have the amd user right so let us use this one why we need to create again so let us use this amd user we already created right amd user yeah So we created a study. Let us use this one. So now let me go for the roles. Okay. So this is cloud twenty twenty. So now I I just want to assign the roles because so uh, so here so as a part of this one. So some roles we some roles are generated. So uh, okay. so this one we can create later okay so the implementation that uh, user the regular user we can create later and this one we did so uh, i am assigning the roles here okay so then we will run the synchronous process yesterday also we did it okay so let me check with amd search we will get some roles related to this one okay so there are different different roles okay so we can go for the we can see so account payables we have the account payables roles and all these things so okay. uh, let's check it you can see that right so these are roles are generated so okay so account payable manager amd business unit so this one the first one is whatever we are seeing here account payables manager that is job role account payable manager is a job role and amd business unit it's a kind of a duty role so if we add up both the things it's a kind of a data role okay account payable manager so it is club because usually so you know, the, uh, this one job role account payable manager or uh, billing manager or any kind of a expense manager these are all the job roles okay so for each job role that business unit will be added so then so we can do the stuff related to the business unit so whatever so so all the data roles will be generated based on the business unit only so this is a kind of a responsibility this is a kind of a role now i don't want uh, payables now so i want the uh, procurement stuff so let me check the procurement rules are generated Prasad, I'm little bit confused about this data roles. Basically, these roles are nothing but responsibilities, you mean, right? Yeah, correct, correct, correct. So but the, uh, I mean, usually in the now in R12, uh, we use responsibility to navigate to any form or something. Correct, so correct, correct, so correct, correct. then here, what, how, in what case we will use? Like even if you go and open this, we have functions and menus under these roles. Yeah, here. So okay. Data role, right? So data role is nothing but responsibility. Okay. So okay. So now, task list is is nothing but menu. Task is nothing but sub menu. So we have the task list and task, right? So task list is menu. Task is the sub menu. Yeah. And uh, under under that uh, under the data role, we have the task list and task. Okay. Got it, right? 
so because yeah got it because name looks different like yeah, yeah, yeah. now ap accounts payable responsibility is just it shows us accounts payable but i see here it is added with the business unit also correct 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 it depends on the business unit only it will it will apply so here what i can do is we have the procurement right stop okay procurement of preparer procurement requester <coughs> okay and um, so let me take some kind of okay so let me take some kind of a warehouse also will be there <coughs> yeah this one is tax we don't need so purchasing i can take okay and time being order manager i can take order entry okay so we will add up later also we can add up not issue <coughs> just click on add <coughs> sorry so this is the way to clear, to add the roles okay. so now we have added so next one is you need to run the program called run user and synchronize process it's a kind of a elda program so while running this one so it will update it so everything will be updated it is a kind of a compilation okay. so you can run the program so it, it, we call it as elda elda program so uh, so once it is completed then the roles will be synchronized roles and you you will be synchronized to the user so that is the process so now let me go for this this stuff so before going for the inventory org, so we need to create all these things okay we need to create a calendar location and item organization right so then let me create this one okay so in another 10 minutes so we will complete so it's a very simple setup only we'll create this So let me go for the manage facility ships. Okay, just click on facility ships. And just uh, you can click on action new. Okay, so plus one. So you can click on press button for so the create button. So here I am taking AMD underscore. So shift. Okay, shift. Okay, here the start time. So the start time. So what is the start time and the duration and everything? So you can give that start time duration. The start time of the shift. Okay, so I am just giving the. Okay, let me give eight. Okay, the duration. So we need the kind of eight hours duration. So hours. Okay. So then shift. Uh, details it's a kind of a flexible punch or something so because I am not taking so any kind of addition punch for whom work from office I am not taking this one then save and close so code also AMD code okay Let's shift save and close so like this you can create the shifts so what this is used for that so yeah we use this one for the calendar okay because uh, yeah so initially what happens here by creation of the inventory or so we need to create the calendar right inventory calendar yeah so it's nothing yeah. but inventory calendar only so here we call it as a ships okay 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 so work day work pattern so this kind of a work day work pattern so let me go to the work day work pattern so work day work pattern so it is disabled here okay so then what we can do is so we can uh, create the same so manage work shift so we have the it is disabled okay so we can use because some tasks are disabled so we can we can do the same thing in hrms as well okay in the hrms as well so let me go to the HRMS and it is activated. So the earlier this was, it was not like this. So I think for the last two weeks only we were like have changed everything. Because they had disabled some kind of features. Okay. Okay, so we'll put a mark here and we'll check it. Manage work schedules. Okay, anyhow, so while defining the work schedule, so we need to have the workday patterns. Okay, otherwise, 
So let me check it. So because it's a kind of a mapping. Okay, shed okay patterns. Okay, fine. So let me check in the for procurement and the product management. Whether it is product management. I think it is in let me check finally within some other user Calvin. So it is Curtis and Pity. to go to the uh, set up on my next so let me go to the the last it is there okay workforce deployment so let me check it yeah it is added here okay. well, manage work work in pattern okay so now you can add so so now what we need to use if the need kind of disabled so we need to switch on to the finance manager and because this had separated oracle separated this setup is um, mainly for this one like this so just uh, one minute please i'll be back Hello, Prasad? He said he will be back in one minute, Pradeep. Ah, okay, I might have missed a second.
sorry for the delay. Actually, I stopped some other process. So let me let me complete this one. Okay. So you are fine, right? So it will take just for ten minutes only. So because uh, we can complete. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, so main is work day work patterns. Okay. I just want to click on new and. <coughs> So uh, here uh, AMD workday patterns. Okay. Fine. So here the length. Okay. Here the length is uh, number of days. Okay. So I can take five days or six days. So, so as per the uses. So how many days you are it's working kind of thing. Okay. So five days or six days. Okay. So based on the uh, and if the if the company is working for. Uh, All the 20 per 7, you can take the seven days. So here work day work day patterns. So, okay, we just uh, so so we so the start date so one and the end date is six and uh, sixth day. Sixth day is the uh, one end date and ship name. So here I can you can see the ship. So you can give the ship and based on that, so then you can get it because we created ship and we will assign the ship to work day pattern. So that's why we need it. Same and close. So it's a kind of a so calendar. So the uh, so you know, what we can say is so the timings uh, of, uh, for the uh, for, for the uh, company or factory whatever it is. How the uh, company works. How the factory works like that. I can say that it is a kind of inventory calendar. In EBS also we used to create in the same way. So inventory calendar. So once we create the inventory calendar, then only so we can go for the this. So here manage workday schedules. So now click done. I am just going to workday schedule. I don't know whether it, I can get here workday schedules. Yeah, manage workday schedules. Click on it. <coughs> okay. So now let me create. Schedules. You can create the schedules. Okay. AMD work schedule and the category. Uh, it's not a work car like this. Okay, in there. So here uh, usually we go for the time. Time is okay. The exceptions pattern. So, so let me select the pattern. So pattern. In the pattern, so I can give the sequence number one, and uh, you can you can select the pattern. We just created the AMD work pattern, so you can select pattern. The exceptions are not mandatory. Okay. So then submit. You can create the work schedules like this. So here, shift and work days, work schedules. So these uh, these are nothing but inventory calendars, and we can create in inventory or we can create in HCM, human capital management. So even so far the you you know right so Oracle so we have the time and labor right. So so we based on that so these are the setups for the Oracle time and labor. So 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 based on that we can use. Just click on done. Okay. So usually, what happens is we will get the notifications whenever we get a submission. We get the notification. So if you want to see a kind of a notification, then just click on uh, Home, Home button, and you can see the notifications here. You can see that if it is, it is there. That's so why we we don't have the notification. So so now. So let me let me check the user. So main is user. Okay, can can I? So if I am able to create user here, because there I am not able to get the type right. So let me check it. So yes, main is user. Main is user. Click on. Uh, 
uh, yeah, you can see that, right? So because it, it is restricted to HCM. Okay, so I'm just creating uh, AMD. So AMD, what I can do is so SCM user. Okay, so AMD SCM. So uh, AMD SCM user. Okay, so here AMD because we have AMD user. That's why I'm taking AM user at the gmail dot com. Okay, fine. So now I can take the username like this SCM user. Okay, so let me save somewhere. Okay, so the first this one is type is so I'm taking the employee. So employee. Okay. So in the employee, you need to give everything, right? So you need to give the legal employer. With a, so US one, we had taken the US one, and business unit is uh, US one business unit. Because I'm using the steel data only. Because sometimes if you if you delete the data, so then we can use this this one US one business unit. Because we, we know how to create the business unit and everything, then stay on close. Okay, so this is done. So now let me go to the um, let me go to the Calvin Roth user and we'll create the location and inventory R. Okay, because we need to keep on so uh, in this one don't need of this one projects and we need to keep on changing these users. Okay, so Calvin Roth and let me log out. this thing so you know we have the location so we can use the same location so we have the location right so may that 500 location in new york so we'll use the same location we just created so and i'm going to create the item organization known as item organization so let me go to the setup and maintenance. So let me go to the procurement and go for manage. I think uh, procurement or product management, I think item related is product management. Right? Let me check it. Manage item organization, just click on no. So here I am just creating AMD item master organization. Item as target, okay. So then I can go for the AMD item as animation. So here, let me copy here because then for it will be easy. It will be easy to query, okay. And what is this thing? Is in because it must contain up to eighteen characters, which must have uh, for. Cases okay, are a combination of both AMD mm -hmm. 
because it contains of 18 characters okay uh, Prasad, i have to leave early to office uh, yeah yeah, yeah, I... yeah actually it's just uh, one minute only um, yeah, yeah. done so just one minute only okay so we are done because actually so i just targeted so tomorrow i will come up with uh, the other side okay. so just uh, so yeah to, tomorrow so we can strictly maintain that timing only okay we can't uh, okay. Yeah. so just today yeah. just just uh, just click on next and see that's it that's it. okay oh. so yeah one minute only. so here i am taking the amd what is amd location right so i am just searching the location so we already created AMD location and uh, here US1 legal entity. Okay, and just click on next. Okay, so here we just created item, right? So item, yeah, AMD item organization and version is one version, then save and close. Save and save and close, that's it. Save and close. So tomorrow we'll come up with the uh, other setups. So related to the inventory arc, so we, we just create an item automation, then we will go for the inventory arc, so we will complete that one, okay. Yeah, thanks for joining. So I will share these uh, two videos, and yesterday's two days, so I, yeah, I had created a folder, I will share you uh, the Yeah. Yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks, uh, Pradeep. Okay, all right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we had okay. a much more setup today. Okay, we will come, with, tomorrow we will plan for one, one hour only, okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Prasad. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. What here? Mudaya na, i rose green tea apple sir. Apple. Ah, sir, me jab daan kornano inka. Aye na, the green tea, green tea da, green tea packet dekho ni. Ah, ida.